Uh, well, what happened is that we wanted to take the game in our hands and our mistakes show that we didn't manage to be uh, physically on the side of the pitch. We didn't manage to have so many, as many opportunities as we wanted to in the pitch. So the penalties were starting to get accumulated and the score was uh, rising up. And those six uh, drops, the six uh, kick balls, uh, made us impossible to manage the different uh, stop situations. England played well. We didn't know how to change uh, the rhythm throughout uh, the whole game, mainly because of our mistakes and our own mistakes. Michael, I'd like to, answer, to ask you the situation regarding uh, Julian's uh, injury. What was the, the main problem in this, in this game? It was not, uh, it's not clear exactly what kind of uh, injury. It's an uh, injury on the ribs, but we don't know how, how big is the, the injury. Regarding the fixed situations, I think we wanted to uh, extend the lines on the on the on the field. I think when the the mall were installed, we made a lot of mistakes. But I think we have to uh, recognize um, the value of the the English team. They play very well, and the situation was difficult for us. It was hard for us to to play the game. Michael, what uh, are the positive aspects you are taking from that game to, to keep on working for next week? So I think the positive that we can take from that game is well, we're not, not going to, to make huge modifications in our preparation. But I think, as I already said, we cannot only wait for the opportunities to, to come from nothing. We have to create our own opportunities. The, the world is uh, keep moving on. We have the opportunity to change the situations throughout uh, next games. For some of us, it's not the first World Cup, so we all know that we need we need some continuity. So we are not going to modify, change our preparation. My question is to both of both of you. It's a start of this World Cup. What happened, really? Because uh, from the outside, we can see that it was a team with not so many varieties, not many changes, a lot of mistakes in the, the passes, lack of directions. What, what, what happened, really? Yeah, that's right. We made a lot of mistakes. That uh, we, we paid the price of those mistakes. And in my own experience, we made some mistake, some mistakes, unforced mistakes due to a lack of concentration in the important moments. Regarding those mistakes, the mistakes, it's a different story. But uh, we are talking a lot about unforced mistakes that uh, 
we did in this game today. We worked a lot on the concentration and the on the focus to have in the different actions. And I think our team really focused on the important part of the game during the preparation uh, phases. But uh, it's still always still a different thing to uh, to do that on the field on the pitch. We clearly lack lacked uh, concentration, but as a coach. one needs to uh, be able to apply what we did during the training sessions. So we'll need to have a better capacity of concentration during the game. Yes, I fully agree with Michael. We made a lot of mistakes. and uh, forced mistakes. I think we, we've we kind of lost our patience and we started to make even more mistakes. Forward masterclass today. I wonder if you could give your opinion on his game today. And do you think he's been a slightly underrated uh, fly half in the international scene? Look, I thought England managed the game very well. You know what I mean? They, 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 the game was very stop-start, exactly how they wanted it. And um, uh, Ford played the cards nicely in those scenarios. You know, the pitch is a little smaller. It's not the full distance, it's only 95, so you can take a shot from further out. And it, well managed, you know what I mean? So uh, full credit to them. They, they played the game really well. They, they managed the scenario. They didn't let us get any flow in our game. And, um, and Ford was a big part of that, not just through his kicking through, through at the poles, but also through his kicking in general play as well. You know, they they landed some... So I think they won that battle, and uh, that's something that we'll need to fix up before we get to our next opponent, for sure. Thank you. Question at the front, please. William, um, in contrast to uh, November 22, when you guys were very, very disciplined, today you looked a little bit edgy. You lack that little bit of discipline in the midfield. Do you put that down to perhaps maybe the lack of one or two warm-up games? What would you put down your edginess to today? It wasn't the usual directness that I'm used to seeing from Argentina. Yeah, you know, uh, in terms of, of discipline, is we can't compare like two years ago. Like Every game and in the World Cup, the, the, the level goes up. Uh, so I don't want to speak about what happened last time we played there. And now it's a different level. But yeah, in terms of discipline, we need to be much more disciplined, as the world said. Uh, great to England, they were they were good in the in the breakdown. But then we, we there were lots of mistakes that we did in in our own terms. So yeah, we need to go and take the opportunity, not wait the opportunity to to present. Uh, yeah, but yeah, you say it, we were as disciplined as we we should be, and most of those penalties were in our territory. So we let them start uh, putting score pressure. Uh, but yeah, lots of things to to improve. Now we have time, we need to look inside each other, stick together, and we have a game ahead. Thank you. Julian, acá. Tanto para Julian como para Michael, históricamente... That's for Julian and Michael. And the... Uh, Puma's uh, selection history, generally you have a good uh, scrum and seven of, out of the eight uh, mistakes were made in the, in the scrum. So how would you explain that? Because usually Argentina is really strong in the, in the scrum. So how would you uh, justify that there were so many mistakes made in the, in the scrum? And uh, Julian, what, what were the words of, su of support you received regarding that game? Regarding what happened in the scrum, the English were playing eight. Tulemi was on the side, so there were two penalties due to technical mistakes from us. One of the 
two were a surprise because we were uh, moving forward, we were going forward, and the decision to uh, decision from the referee, the decision of a penalty, I really didn't understand because we were uh, going forward. And six times we created a, a lineup for, of five players and they formed a, a line of six and the referee didn't notice it. So there were some unclear situations at some point. And obviously we need to improve our scrum game if you want to improve other sectors as well. But I don't think we had some difficulties on the scrum and specifically. It was tough for us to dominate, clearly. But now I think that uh, the referees are whistling more technical uh, mistakes more than than ever and i think we need to adapt very quickly because things can change from one game to another and my colleagues from leicester say said hi to me and asked me how i was but we didn't really exchange with my uh, mates from uh, leicester the team from england is on its way Thank you.